Richard Giger, the father of the popular sci-fi movie Alien, is native to Switzerland. And here in Gruyere, located in the Gothic castle, the H.R. Giger Museum showcases his biomechanical artwork on permanent display. Giger's work varies from paintings, sculptures, furniture, and film designs from the early 1960s until present day. But the real treasure opposite the museum is the H.R. Giger Museum Bar. Let's check it out. I'm in the H.R. Giger Bar sipping a cup of alien coffee. This place really feels like you're in the inside of some prehistoric beast with fossilized vertebrae crisscrossing the ceiling and alien chairs that look like they're from the creature itself. If you're anywhere in the town of Gruyere, you have to make this a stop on your list. It's really a must-see. I'm industrial designer. I learned that, and uh, furniture also, and so I'm fascinated about vertebrates, about bones and these things, and um, Donald Banyan uh, wrote the script of Alien, and I, I was demanded to do this alien creature, and so I had to invent a creature who looked a little scary, and uh, yeah, so I have here the museum, H.R. Giger, and the bar, and also a gallery for other artists. Soon I got in love with this place, I liked it so much, and I, uh, I had the occasion to buy this building, this uh, old, it's a part of the castle, yes, and uh, I found that could be a wonderful place to, to have my babies, my paintings here. Your name is? My name is Giger, H.R. Giger, and I have here the museum, H.R. Giger, and the bar, and also a gallery for other artists. Why did you decide to put this here? Yeah, that accidentally, I don't know, we, we, I had the, my first show in the chateau, in the, on the top of the hill, it was in 1990, that I found this place and they invited me to have a show and I, I soon I got in love with this place I liked it so much and I uh, then after a few years I had the occasion to buy this building this uh, old it's a part of the castle yes and uh, I found that could be a wonderful place to to have my babies, my paintings here, and so it happened. And since 1998, we have Carmen and I. We have this museum, and uh, it, it's I'm very happy to to to, to have the, that. And uh, I mean, that was always something I, w I was looking for. And the bar, I finally a little later on, I. I made the design for the bar and everything, and so I think we have, we still can do something. I don't know. They want here to do a fountain, perhaps of me, of the, yeah, I have one in Zurich, a fountain, and could be a. What it, for people who've never been here, what is this bar? What is it? <laughs> yeah. I, sometimes people think that that's something to, to be horrified or so, but I don't think so. Uh, everybody who comes here, they, they like it and uh, they feel comfortable and good. And Is this supposed to be what, the inside of a creature? I don't know. It could be inside of something like a skeleton or something or vertebrae or whatever it has. I'm fascinated about vertebrates, about bones and these things. And um, yeah. How did you get the idea for the alien creature and the vertebrae? How did that yeah, that was, a, that? that was a demand. I mean, I, uh, uh, that, that was a, a film was had to be done. And Donald Banyan uh, wrote the script of Alien, and I, I was demanded to do this 
alien creature and so I had to invent a creature who looked a little scary and uh, yeah so so it came do you have any yeah. inspiration for that or uh, did you... I don't know I'm I'm industrial designer I learned that and uh, furniture also and so and uh, then yeah that was very normal very it came like that Later on, I was doing my art, you know, and doing my paintings and... So people who've never been here, yeah. why would they want to come and visit, say... Uh -huh, yeah. I mean, if I have some, some people, they want to see my work, then I send them to Gruyere. It's the French part of Switzerland and... Uh... Can you uh, tell me your name, please, and spell your last name? Yeah, my name is uh, Carmen, and uh, I'm Swiss Spanish, so it's Schaeffle de Vega, but now married to him since uh, almost four years now. Four years? How did you yeah. meet? Well, a long time ago, it's about 22 years ago, through a friend of ours. Yeah, we, um, okay. but we then we um, knew each other for 10 years before we started something. Or <laughs> and did you know about the alien movies and all that when you met? Well, I, I had a post at the age of 17, um, but I never knew who it was, you know, who had painted it. And, um, and then many, many years later, you know, I got to know him and I realized and yeah, but um, no, I, I just loved that poster, but really wasn't too much interested in getting to know <laughs> a bit more then, you know, from... What do you think of the work uh, when you came and saw all this? I what love it. What do you think it. of it? What do you like I, best about I, it? Well, I mean, the spell is, of course, the, the temple. Yeah, it's, um, I think, his main work. And the picture from Emerson Lake and Palmer, which I had oh, as a poster. That was initial um, thing, yeah. Yeah, the first I got to know from a brain salad surgery. Yeah, yeah you must know it. It's, it's a woman like this, and it was a double cover, you know. It had, like, a death skull, and then you could open it, and then there was this uh, very, very famous picture. Uh -huh, yeah. So... Yeah, but I mean, it's really difficult because he has so many directions, you know. I mean, it's pretty difficult to say which one you like best. Or... So, um, are there exhibits that travel around Europe? And where would people find these? Yeah, now it's, we have one in San Sebastian. But it's always like really major exhibitions in museums, like we had it in, in Paris, in, in Prague, in, in, in Spain, in Vienna. Vienna. And yeah, it's um, just and Frankfurt in the film museum in Frankfurt so it's just um, traveling it's always changing a bit the, the what is inside the exhibition but uh, and what sort of reaction do people see when they first see the work I mean what kinds of responses do they get <laughs> well many people already know the work when they come into the museum but what is um, fascinating to see is that um, some women, they really don't like it when they see it in the books, you know, but as soon as they are in the museum, it changes. I don't know whether it's because I was thinking perhaps it's because of the light, because the museum is dark. So you see more the, the bright parts of the pictures, yeah, which is the female usually, and the female is very majestically done, yeah. So it's usually, it's, they really start to see the beauty in, in his work less than the, the, the horror that is um, the, the most palpable thing when you see it. Do you have a favorite alien of all the ones that uh, he's created? Well, number one. Number yeah. one. Okay. <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, one final question for Mr. Giger. Do they mostly come at night? <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. They come to the museum. Mostly at night. <laughs>